Hey guys, Shrinky and welcome to Ellie's. Now this is a fan game that I was thinking of playing a while ago, but I but I never just never played. I just didn't play it. Until now, so let's get into this and see what's going on with this game. 12 a.m. night one. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Very interest. Oh, okay, we got like alligators, crocodiles, I don't know. Pictures. Uh, hello. Not sure how to start this off, but let's get to it. To start, I do have to state this. These messages are running on a battery powered tape recorder, so don't worry about it stopping midway. I want to thank you for coming in to look at our paranormal problem with our animatronics. I'm very grateful that you're doing this. I'll explain more about what happened to Mara and I as I am on a time crunch, but for now I'll give you the basics. First, I need to remind you of the legal mumbo jumbo since this is an alleged haunted place that you're researching. Since you've signed the quote unquote we're not responsible document, I'll paraphrase it again on call. Ellie's LLC is not responsible for death or injury to you. We're also not responsible for damage to any property owned by you. Now, with that out of the way, we can talk about ghosts. Now, you're currently in our office, which we've turned into a paranormal center with cameras. Kind of cool, you know? You can flip into the cameras, and from there, you have windows. You can click around the map to go to different cameras, and you can also move the windows around to how you view fit. Plus, you can hire show them. Pretty neat stuff. Oh, right. About those cameras, we're running everything on a single CPU, which can get overwhelmed easily. It's best not to stress the system out, as it'll crash if you overload it. You'll need to reboot the entire system if a crash happens, as whatever camera that went out is disabled unless you pull the reset lever on your left. It's near the desk, but don't pull it unless you absolutely need to, because it is a limited use tool, which I can assure you will work again after one use. It'll shut down the building's power and reboot the whole system, fixing whatever cameras are out. Still is a limited use tool, so don't abuse it. You can also turn off the main lights, and once they're out, you can flash the hall lights to see what's down them. Just try to keep the lights on as much as possible. It's not safe to leave them off for too long. Tonight you might see two of our cast members, Joe the Pirate and Hunter the Farmer. They're deemed to be good examples. Joe is an example of why stealing is wrong, and Hunter for knows how to even. Now, if Joe comes into your office, he likes to go through the vent. Should he do that, you'll need to turn off the lights. Joe's eyes will light up red, and he'll start searching left and right for you, so you must turn on the lights when he stops moving his head, and he must be looking away from you with his eyes not lit up. If you wait too long or turn the lights on when his eyes are red, he'll spot you, and who knows what unspeakable things will happen. As for Hunter, he'll make his way down your office through the right side. Should he enter, he likes to be noisy, and you'll hear fast metallic footsteps. Once you hear them, turn off the lights, and as soon as the running stops, flash the hall lights as soon as possible. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Good night, and good luck. Okay, so it sounds like there's one where we have to turn off the light, and maybe when the, the eyes stop being red, you... Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna listen out for footsteps. And then all the flashlights. Okay. I see. You're on your way. Wait. Okay, there we go. I think that worked. Nice. I have to build it Anyway. I keep on going. Oh whoops, didn't mean to press that and messing up the buttons, but oh well. I possess the building. Oh we got a globe over there, that's pretty cool. Cool. We're going to survival. Here we go. Nice and easy, first night. 
cool. So the cameras are gonna disappear at some point, I guess. Well, ain't that just trash? Oh well. I possess the ability. Ding ding. We're gonna we gotta keep going there. Anyway, time for phone call. Yay. Oh hey, day two. Good job. Oh, hey. So I saw some of the stuff on the cameras last night when I looked at them. Pretty strange, right? Now, I said I would speak more about this place and what happened since you're from out of town. And you probably don't know what really happened besides a few murmurs here and there. Back in 1983, we had an incident where a man in a blue suit came in. He shot two people, one being a young girl named Emma, and then himself. This incident hurt our reputation, but what did further damage was the claims of ghosts haunting this place. From shadow figures to footsteps to the animatronics acting strange, it made families too scared to come here. But we've been looking for help with this because it's really starting to hurt our business. Speaking of shadow figures, ever since that event we've had two of them. Still, the other one only comes out later when he, I guess, gets to know the people better. Still, the other one, which we think is the ghost of Emma, the child who was murdered here, if you do happen to see her, she seems to not like being looked at, as creepy and odd as that is. We've noted looking at her scares her off, I guess. She's been spotted in the cameras and your office's hallways, so like I said before, if you see her anywhere, either on the cameras or in the office, just look at her and she'll go away. Now since you've been here for a night, the ghosts, I think, are shy. But since you're going to be here for a week, they'll start coming out more, so be wary of that. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good night. Okay, so if I see a shadow, I stare at it. Alright. Okay, there was a shadow there. Oh god, one of them moved. One of them I don't even know. Oh. Is that Hunter? Maybe. Oh. Wait. Okay, that was close. Okay, cool. I guess. Um, yeah. We're gonna keep going anyway. We're survival of the fittest, uh, yeah. We are going to be surviving the fittest. Oh, they just moved closer. Interesting. I'll just keep staring at you because I can hear the vent sound. Okay, cool. Survival of the fittest. Still kind of just sitting there. That's fine. What was that sound? I possess the ending. Again? Jeez. A bit quick, buddy. Wait, is there camera stalling in this game? He doesn't seem to be moving. Maybe this camera stalling. I don't know. Definitely feels like it. I mean, he's not attacking, so I mean, yay. Night should end soon as well, which is pretty cool. 
What does that say? Nice shifts at Sparky's reboot to... Oh, it doesn't matter. 6 a.m. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, I, 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 I like the tempo. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I can't continue because this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stick around for night three and four. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.